Yeah. All right. You don't need it. You pump sugar. Okay. Off, all right. Now let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's all about Don. Okay. The fly me away man. He's not the fly me away man. I'm the fly. I'm the fly me away man. I'm the fly. Okay. All right. Come on. All right. So, so Jason, that, what, what were you saying about Lincoln? Right. Yeah, he was so the I'm worst president. That I think uh, Lincoln is the worst president in American <laughs> history. Uh, I mean, no other president uh, has suspended habeas corpus, one of our uh, principal uh, constitutional rights. No other uh, president has jailed journalists, political dissidents, um, just because uh, he he didn't like their political views. Didn't give them a trial, just uh, detained them without um, political process. Were they military tribunals? Is that what they were? The, was the, they, they were tribunals back then? The, uh, I mean, the Civil War didn't need to happen. I mean, of course, uh, slavery was an evil thing, and it's good that we did away with that. Uh, but is the way that Lincoln dealt with the issue the best way? Uh, I mean, it led to uh, an enormity of bloodshed. But wasn't, wasn't it true that the South wanted to hold on to their labor so they didn't want to give up the slaves. Wasn't that part of it? Uh, there's they're, a they're, very they're, small the percentage it. of the population that owned slaves. Uh, for the majority of the South, it was more about uh, the Northern aggression. But then, they well, were trying second, to... But, but, but it's a very small population that, 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 that actually are the richest in the world. Well, that, that's not, you know, so, so... Well, that's what he, the yeah, plantation yeah. was probably with the richest, right? Yeah, they were, they were the they richest. Had, they had the cheapest yeah, labor. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, so it might have been very few of them, but they owned a lot. I mean, from the be very beginning of America, um, you know, our leaders were trying to figure out how to deal with slavery. And uh, it's a messy issue because a lot of people uh, looking back on it are going to say that it was, uh, it was a tainted process from the beginning because our founding fathers owned slaves. But, you know, uh, I think that they recognized that it was an evil early on. Oh, well, they yeah, were trying to deal with it, and many of them set the ball in motion. In fact, the uh, the entire project of America is, is about, you know, freedom and uh, yeah. emancipating people and, from authority. Yeah, and the people that were in Africa were selling their own people to the slave ships, so they, they were... The oh, people in that, Africa no, were doing that. Now, this is where I have a problem Is that true? That. This is where I have a That's problem not true? with that. Because we don't know what they were telling the people in Africa. You so know, we have no history of what, how they got how they got the slaves we, we from Africa. We, listen, listen. What I'm saying to you is this: that I think there's a lot of deception. Right. That was the stories that were told. Right. You know, as far as how do you what think they got how do you gonna, think they got the slaves in Africa? How did they get them? From, do you think just white people came in and and, 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 and took them? Will. No, seriously. I'm asking a question. Will. Will. And that's your question. Do you think that if you had an ulterior motive to do something and people really didn't know the conditions or the... Or, oh, you think the, they fooled them on the ships? That you, but they were stacked up, dude. They were, no, it, it wasn't a comfortable ride. With chains? It wasn't like, hey, get on the ship. We're going for a cruise with the, the love boat. I mean, come on. Okay. These people did not want to go to America right. on those boats. We agree on that, right? We, we agree. Okay. And, and we can also agree that... that the ones that made it, because a lot of them didn't. No, no, a lot died. It was right. a terrible condition. Th that is, that is, so whoever came across, made it across, man, that person had a strong constitution to lay there in the urine and feces. Well, they didn't have a choice. Had, they were all stacked in, 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 in the boards, planks, and the chains. Okay, so so when we start talking about, you know, uh, 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 but, black folks selling... Uh, other black folks? You, can't, you can't talk about that? No, no, you can't talk about it, but let's, let's get... Let's find out what, the, what methods we use. Oh, so you don't know? You don't know I don't, how, they, how they were taken? Well, well I then let's I investigate that. Listen, do you know how they listen. were taken in Africa? I think it's a concept that like, originally, never, no, I don't know. Let's I mean, find this out, what, guys. What I do know is this, that, you know, you, you, you come in, you're dealing with a culture where family was extremely important. Agreed. Okay? As, as well as culture. white people, too. White people value their family. Okay, so, so you know, when we go back and look at slavery, you know, yeah, let's find out what, what was, how did they get them on the ship? Oh my gosh, you know what? I've got a title for this video. A talk about slavery with Jason Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but I, 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 I think it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not clickbait now that you brought this subject up. No, but let's investigate this, because I brought this up going, I'm assuming that, so it's wrong to assume, obviously, how did the slaves get acquired in Africa before they came over? I, they need, we both, we all agree they didn't go over on the free volition. 
They didn't want to go. They, they, it wasn't no right. love boat. Not, no, it wasn't a love boat. It wasn't no love boat. Okay. And I'm not, and, I'm not, so, I'm not so being you, funny about it. I'm seriously. I mean, this was terrible condition. And, and, and this it's is bad. one thing, but but this is the problem I have. What's the problem? Everything that that is pro-black is not anti-white. And this is the problem we have in America oh, so, right oh, so now. Oh, so BET. There a lot, no, a lot of things that 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 people perceive as pro-black, mm -hmm. they automatically want to label anti-white. Well, no, I think, well, I, well, I, mean, I think the see. majority of the anti-white stuff is coming from other whites, from uh, affluent whites. Right now, the the greatest conflict is between basically the blue-collar whites and the the rural blue-collar whites and the affluent urban whites. And uh, the, the uh, affluent urban whites, you know, like the city people, you know, they're they're trying to use all these other racial groups as their pawns, basically, like stirring up uh, hatred. You know, it's, it's very similar to the same kinds of uh, conflicts that were going on during uh, the Civil War. Well, because Antifa is majority white. Yeah, well, and they they act like they speak for, uh, yeah, for black, black American. Black American. Why, like, they're, why they're burning down the black saying, businesses? When I did my uh, Unite the Right Two rally in Washington D.C., I had white, I had black, I had Hispanic, I had Jewish, I had lots of people there, and all the people who weren't white who were with me, they were the worst abused by the leftists. You should see like just an army of like far left, not all Antifa, some just liberals, and the hate on their face, like screaming like you're a race traitor all this stuff just really disgusting uh, disgusting people so uh that's the way i see it is that the affluent urban whites are trying to use the uh um, minorities, minorities like so, stirring so, up racial grievances you're so oppressed you have to do what we say or otherwise you're going to be discriminated discriminated against even more and if you don't do what they say then they attack you and they'll call you a coon and whatever else because you uh are owned by them. That's the way they see it. You owe so much to them. Look right. how much they've given you. Right, yeah. Well, wow. Hillary, uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi said that. Oh, wow. I, I take care of my consistent consist 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 wow. consist consist Wow. Now that's deep. That is deep. That's deep. This is a deep conversation. Okay. Because, now, and, and but, see, it, but it's true. I mean, that rings true for me what he's saying. It's, it's well, not, well, not true. well, see, let, let, me, let me explain to you. Slavery was designed to be permanent. Right. Well, we, the status of the month. Right. Well, we went through that. We went through that last interview, that last show. We don't want to. Well, but we might have somebody well, that. You're gonna bring it all up again. Let me ask you something, Don. There's a, uh, a bill that's been proposed by uh, Josh Howley, and he's saying that we should put labels onto consumer goods that are produced with slave labor. Because actually there's a lot of products that are made like uh, iPhones and things that are made right. with forced labor in right. certain regions of China. So why do you think the black community isn't like getting behind this more? You Shouldn't uh, the black community's uh, history with slavery uh, want them, make them want to stamp that out all over the world? Well, see, And I'm not a spokesman for all black people. No, no none of us are. Okay. He's not a spokesman for all white so, people. So, I'm German so, people. You know, I don't know. I but can't I tell know. you why black people won't get Maybe they're not educated to but, this. They don't and, know and, about it. A lot of people don't know. That, well, they're learning you, you, now. You see what I'm saying? They're learning so, now. So, but, but we, black people in America, got so many other issues that they got to be concerned with. When you come talking about some stuff that's going on in China and they can't pay their bill, you know, the lights and the water, the gas is turning off, you know, how much how much interest do you think you're gonna get in? That's that's and that's the thing that's the thing about the yeah, and that the last four years you know, the last four years during the Trump administration, black um, um, unemployment was a record lows because of the uh, But it the was higher than everybody else. You're over talking to me, my friend. I got, you got a little energy, Lily. Why don't you hear me out, okay? I, I, all right, I, I, we can respectfully I, I, disagree I, I, when I'm done. I, I, all right. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so, the Opportunity Zones with Ben Carson, there was over 2,000 of them in like Detroit and all the areas where it was predominantly black, black populations with no opportunity. So they're just smoking and doing whatever they can because they, there's no jobs to get. They, they don't have jobs to get. And they're just getting a little bit from the government, basically enslaved by the government through welfare. Because they, you know, the thing, you talked about that with the, the women. Every child, they got more money what, with, no, the, what, without what, a man in the house. So no, no, hear me out, hear me out. Yeah, so what yeah. I'm saying is, so I'm saying is, is that now we've got somebody that has got a record of being a racist, took away the opportunities, to the best of my knowledge. I, I don't know if they're still going, 
opened up the borders, has brought in 250,000 illegals in the past eight weeks, and just br busting them up. They don't want to keep them on the border because the optics would be bad. So Camilla is like, get them up there, send them to Rochester, New York. So, so what's happening is all these people that are pouring in through McAllen, Texas, the tip of the spear, McAllen, Texas, the very tip of the point of Texas, they're drowning babies in the Rio Grande and they don't care. No, none of the media is talking about it. I got a playlist. I got a deputy that witnesses to the fact that they're dropping babies, Mexican babies, in the water so they drown, forcing the border patrol in the Rio Grande to save them. And then they move the high ticket items, which are Asian people and Middle Eastern people. They're $10,000 to $5,000 a head. A Mexican person's worth about $2,000. No, 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 $1,000. They're usually worth $500. Since uh, Biden's been in, they're worth a thousand. So they're throwing away the Mexicans because they want to get the more expensive people in the, the car. Two cartels that are evil don't care about human life, and they, they're letting go. Ask yourself your question, though, man. Where are these people getting this money from? Who's what's getting what money when from you're where? You're talking about five thousand dollars. I mean, the it's money, the cartels. No, no, no. But, but they're getting the money from that. This is what I'm saying, but the people that are paying. Yeah, the Asian people that are somewhere in Asia. They're like, yeah, five thousand to get my my cousin into America right now. I'll pay. You, that's they're doing you, it. You, you see what they're I'm saying? They're making millions of dollars. Okay. Yeah. But 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 that money source can be traced. Who cares? They don't care. They're not saying anything. They don't want them on the border, so they're just shipping them up because it's bad optics. They, they had kids. Remember? They had kids in there for like two weeks. Oh, sorry. Remember? Remember? One extra day on Trump. And, ah, they all freak out. Now they go two weeks with nothing. Nothing. The media's like, hmm, are those people being mistreated? Those children? Uh, two weeks. Well, They're just overbooked. This is what I think. This is what Come I think. Come on. You know, under the Trump administration, yeah. the media had one focus. Trump. They still do. They okay. need him for no, ratings. No, no, no. They, they had him. They had the, the, Trump is a money machine. I mean, come you on, You make man. money off hate. You, you make money. Okay? He, he, he got a lot of people that are following Trump that are still upholding whatever he's doing for the money, man. It ain't about... Pre the President Trump, I want to meet you during the Freedom Conference. It's about the money. President Trump, I want to meet you during the Freedom Conference. I want to talk to you. I have a private meeting with you, sir. If you would do that for me, I'd be greatly appreciative. Anybody that might know President Trump, if they would let him know that I'm putting a call out there to meet with him, I'd really appreciate it. Get and he's going to say who? It's, it's amazing how the illegal immigration is uh, transformed away. Oh my gosh. this country. I mean, uh, a lot of people who, um, who might be watching this, you don't live near an urban center, who might live in a rural area, you have no idea. Just like people have no idea how they're still crazy about these stupid masks places like Washington DC where they moved on watch that places. subject so I can keep this video up but um, in a place like Washington DC uh, and the surrounding areas you go one block and it looks like America and then you know go another block and it looks like Central America and I mean not in it's a good in way it too. looks like a dystopian future it looks like uh, that scene in back to the future too when uh, Marty accidentally, uh, you know, ends up in the alternate universe where Biff is taken over and there's crime and vices and, and the streets are uh, crappy and dirty and it's just a hellish dystopia. There's places like that in urban centers all over America now. And it's like, what the hell happened? The, it, it, it's, it's designed this way. It's designed to separate us. All of this is designed. Everything, every, notice, everything's designed. The whole but, thing but of the, the one capital thing is that designed. you'll notice about these areas that are like that, that's where the majority of the crime is. That's where the police is focused on those areas right there, you know, where you got the dilapidated houses, you know, the streets are filthy. Uh, uh, the There's a lot of desperate people there. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Because you'll, you'll, you'll notice that a lot of the police resources are going to these areas because nine times out of 10, these are the people that don't have the money to defend themselves, number one, that's going to have to go to the bail system if they get arrested. Yeah, but that's okay. a problem. What do you do about it, though? I'm, I'm going to come up with a solution. Uh, I don't right. want to just keep talking about the problem. So everybody keeps talking about the problems, Don, and it's not achieving getting unification. So if we yeah. just so, keep, if we keep re seriously, if we keep talking so, so about the past that. problems, we're focused. Hear me out. This is a really important point. Uh, hear me out. If we keep focusing on the past problems and ruminating on it, we're going to just be repeating our old behavior. We now need to unify and come with solutions that are going to be helping the people. And one of them 
is awareness of just talking to each other. So the, so the black population that's dealing with what you're talking about is talking to the white population. We all need to come together. We need to start talking to each other, having some picnics together, really mix it up so people can start to understand that we're not gonna bite. Well, but, 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 I, the, I mean, the, being the, problem, about the problem is this, in order for us to get to where you are, yeah, uh -oh. we need to have this painful, ugly, uncomfortable conversation, that's what which I'm saying. nobody wants to have. But that's what I'm doing. Oh, so, so, so you're no, saying no, by no, me no, being no, positive no, and uplifting, it does ignoring no, no, the problem? No, no, what I'm saying, in, you, in order to understand where you're going, right. you got to look where you came from. We got that. Okay, so, and, and, and we, and Americans have never really discussed where we came from. So you okay? Well, part of the issue here, though, is that when you talk about these type of communities, you're not just talking about like us. We're not talking about just black and white, you know, and people who've been here for generations and have some shared experiences, shared language, uh, shared culture. You're talking about like people like they don't even make people assimilate anymore they're basically like conquering peoples who come in and if there's like a soccer match for instance they're waving another country's flag they're not waving america's flag they're not uh speaking our language uh there's a lot of people who are coming in from god knows where they're uh being brought in by drug cartels like here in the dc area they had a bunch of uh bus from the mexican sinaloa cartel recently I mean, but, but, MS-13 but, is another one that they're bringing in. It's like, how do you unify when people have no intention of, uh, of, 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 of assimilating? assimilating? Okay, but, but, but it's my It's a question, conquering but, force. But, but it's more like, uh, like, you look at it historically, some nations rise and some yeah, fall. Yeah, but, but, but what I'm saying is, by when I say unifying, we can unify against evil. So those people that are evil, that are not going to unify, they're going to isolate themselves. I don't even but think they're evil, and a lot of them themselves are probably victims. You know, they're brought into this this situation by these cartels. Right. Maybe they're desperate to escape their country. Of course, or just but want to stay alive. the solution isn't bringing them here and, like, having them relive that cycle and bring that cycle here. Of, I mean, we can do things to help them but, where but, they but live. Why, but why does that make you feel uncomfortable? Why? With MS with them coming up? It's no, dangerous. No. It's, it's dangerous. It's a different First culture. Like, like you can walk one. from one block, which looks like a terrible, you know what that means. And, the, and, the, and you feel safe. And then you walk into another block and you're like, holy shit. It's like you just jumped on a plane and ended up in like a favela or like a ghetto in Central America. You're like, I don't even know where I'm at right now. But, 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 but this is still America. You, you know what I'm saying? This is our house. So, I, and what, what, what boggles my mind is, you got people coming here, one, don't know the laws, a lot of them don't, can't even speak the language, they don't understand the custom, but yet we're afraid of them. I don't get that, man. It's like when you go down to the yeah, White House, you know, with, 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 uh, with, 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 with the fences and stuff. Yeah. That's fear. And that's the, the White House is Secret Service's house. And they are afraid. Why? Why are we in a Man, you don't know the rules. You don't know the laws. You don't know nothing. And you got me scared. Come on, Jason. I mean, and it, you know, it's not on, just. man. Ain't no reason for us to be afraid. I, I mean, when you don't know what is. When you see your country changing so much and so quickly, and the norms and the laws and everything are breaking down, the crime is growing through the roof. Uh, you really do have to worry. I mean, and some of this, some of this stuff that's going on. I mean, it's just like comical. Our now, standards have gotten let, so bad. Let, let, you look at this guy, Fauci. Fauci is like a. You have to watch that subject, though, Jason. Okay. Let right me, now, let me say right now, now, it's touchy for me. I'm let, sorry. Let, let, let me so say I can't something. talk let, about let, the, yeah, the news with the Wuhan yeah, lab. Yeah, 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 man. Because yeah, they're, 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 they're chopping me up. Yeah, they're, they're going to land Marine All right, I won't. I won't talk about Fauci and the Wuhan lab. But, You're killing me. But but it's but it's also you know you look at what's going on with China, like I, I, people were talking about recently how the uh, like the the wrestling star John Cena, who um, is now an actor in the new Fast and Furious movie, he had said that uh, what was it Taiwan, uh, Taiwan was, a country. was a country, and uh, it's actually you know like an area that um, 
that the Chinese government is very sensitive about and they don't uh, recognize it as a country. So he had to apologize in Mandarin to the Chinese. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a great shot. It's something, it's something happening. No, that's, 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 that's Marine yeah, 1. That's Marine 1. No, no, no. no, no, no. I know it's not Marine 1. It's Marine 1. Yeah, he flies around before Marine 1 lands. I bet you Marine 1's landing. But you look like China is our number one adversary right now, uh, geopolitically. It's not Russia, it's China. And in every other era in American history, like like whether you're talking about our, our struggle against National Socialism or wrong. against the Communists or whatever, you know, like the Soviet Communists are portrayed as the bad guys. The, uh, the Nazis are portrayed as the bad guys. Uh, but here, we haven't had a movie, for instance, critical of the Chinese government in in since like the 1990s with the movie with Brad Pitt about Tibet. That's their influence. Yeah, they're very powerful. And you look at the fact that like there's so many Chinese that are coming into the universities. Uh, th look, we are so fucked, you know. <laughs> it, there are so many people that are, that are spying on this country. Uh, spies are literally sleeping in the same bed as our representative. I know. Like that guy, Eric uh, Swalwell. Eric Swalwell, oh my this God. This stuff is and not Nancy, gonna go on And forever. Nancy let it happen. Nancy knew about it for three years and didn't say anything. It's like, Nancy, she's Speaker of the House. You, you complain about it, you're like, oh, why is this happening? It's not gonna happen forever, they're gonna win. So like, we are not over there uh, doing the same things to them. They are kicking our butts. Uh, and so could the it, entire could world it, is eating our lunch. So could it be possible that because of the American greed, uh, no, the Chinese greedy. has not everybody's greedy. This, but this, but I'm telling you, this is a lot bigger than. I mean, this I is mean, a lot I mean, bigger than even look, race look, relations. Look, look, you know what at, I mean? Look at who owns America now, uh, man. But don't, Americans don't own America no more. Yeah, but so we give up. That's what we do. No, is we no, give we up don't. because all of the corporations are sold out. What do you want to do? The high bidder. What do you want to do? Uh, r look, race, race is part of it, but it isn't just race. No, it's not okay. just race. You have to have a national identity to say, like, this is who we are. And that's and why this they're is splitting what us we're up. not. And we're going to protect what we are against those who are not us who want to destroy us. And now we're, like, questioning things that are basic. Yeah. Like, we don't know what a man and a woman is anymore. How are we going to know who we are as a nation if we can't oh, even acknowledge Jason, that good. there's a man and a woman? Dude, that's so like, true. We're just like this e amorphous uh, blob. It's gonna coming change out though. of a liberal university. It's gonna change, and though, our butts are gonna get kicked. Jason, let me tell you what. Let me tell you a prediction, and I don't think I've said this on video before. I think that Kamala Harris can become president. She's gonna be the first president. I think Joe's gonna step out in six months. I'm putting. On, I think I put this on another live stream. Although this isn't a live stream. God knows if I can upload this size file. But Kamala Harris can become president. We're gonna lose more and more freedoms. They're gonna suppress the white people as much as they can by lifting up the black people to create resentment in the white people that weren't racist. They're gonna create racist, angering 85% uh, of the population, and that they're doing that on purpose to isolate the black population. So they're gonna they're gonna pull the reverse Jim Crow and then they're gonna bounce it back on the black people again. And it's gonna create more racist by what they're gonna do by glorifying more and more, just saying the blacks are better than whites. And they're gonna just get more and more people pissed off. I, you know, I don't, I don't. Straight up. As a black man, I don't see all of this. Oh, I know, I know. It's I, different. I mean, all of this, all of this favoritism toward blackness now. But now I, I, I don't see it. I, I, I mean, do you want me to explain? No, I'm, I'm. Listen. I can explain. I, I'm telling you what I'm saying to you is, evidently, this is just for a few select blacks because everybody is not across the board. Because I don't see it, it's not affecting my lifestyle, all of this favoritism. I, I was homeless, that didn't affect my lifestyle uh, either. You, you see what I'm saying? It's, so, it's certain so, specific things like university admittance, and, and that's not going to affect your uh, age bracket or like government job. But, but, you want a government but, but, job, but, 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 it's but, great. Also, like, uh, you're, you don't. Like you're lifted up in like corporate America. In but, corporate but America, Jason, we're Jason, hold on a second. Like they have though, this Jason. critical race theory hold, stuff. Hold, but Jason, we're all, yeah, we're all, we're all, yeah, and then we're subconsciously not, racist. We don't not. know. Rich white parents. Something is been, going on. You're right, Don. Yeah, I told you something going he on. Said, he right? doesn't usually fly over this. Yeah, I, told you must, I think it's, it must be a, uh, a it's rally. A protest. Yeah, I'll get it later. It's a white house, probably, right? Yeah, it's around the White House. That we'll go back. We'll have fun. We love protests. I always cover them. Give everybody a voice. Look at the white parents that have brought their kids this for years. This has been going on for years. Yeah, but you're going to the past again. And you don't want to you want to stay in the past because you, you see y'all no 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 what? no 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 see, talk to me. See because 
See, every time I bring something up like this, okay, to show you how 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 white people have exploited the system right. for years. Right. Okay. How do we stop it? How do we stop it? That's my question. I mean, we keep talking about what they've been doing. I get that. I get that the sense of what you're saying, and I'm not disagreeing with it. There have been black. Uh, no, I'm not disagreeing with it. Black people have definitely been stereotyped because of the optics. They're always doing it. You know what I mean? It drives me okay. crazy. You, you and I both discussed that. Okay. I'm, I'm not denying that. Okay. What I'm saying is, how do we fix it? And the way I say we fix it is we right now start communicating with each other, do picnics and spend time with each other, black people and white people, and just start to get to know people. Start to say hello to people. And why and it's, it's a that simple happen, though? Why, why because it's just starting. Happen? This is the great awakening. When we lose our freedoms under Camilla Harris, we're gonna start really appreciating them again. So it's gonna draw us closer together. I know this is a bit of a relationship I have with you and other people that are, happen to be black. What, what, the, one of the biggest uh, hurdles to that, like I was saying, is these affluent urban whites. When They don't want black people and white people no, they to don't. have they that don't. conversation. They, they, they want white people to be cut, like white people who aren't happy with the anti-white trajectory of the country to shut up and to be like put in a corner somewhere, put in a jail Why do you cell. think they're doing that? Uh, they're indoctrinated. They're drinking some Kool-Aid. But why, what do you think their motivation is? I think I've got a theory. Money, man. Well, money it's is, it's a cult. I mean, it's like a religion. You, you know, people get into fervors with cults and religions. Listen. And that, they're being indoctrinated in these universities. I mean, like, uh, it is like a new religion, and a religion is powerful enough to conquer the planet, you know? Yeah. I mean... But we're gonna, let me, let me, let me, I want to close with this for a moment. We'll talk, we'll talk a little further, and then, so if the battery runs out, I've got an end, okay? So I'm doing an end for now. So we're going to continue these kind of current conversations. This is deep. I don't even know if I'm in trouble or not. I don't know what happened there. Man, we, we, we're just speaking we, opinions we just, right we, now. We, we, right yeah, I know, now, but, we, people, we, but people are getting so, talking, but, yeah. people, but people are getting so hyperbolic now. Everybody's freaking out about one thought. I can change my mind, okay? You know what I mean? Don can change his mind. Right. Don't freak out if we got a point of view you don't like or you totally disagree. You don't need to get triggered. You just need to educate. So if you're getting triggered by saying anything Jason said or Don said or I said, I'm sure there's people out there triggered by all three of us somewhere. Discuss the reason you're triggered. You don't have to call people names or wish they die or just tell them to go somewhere else and blackball them and cancel them. It's not necessary. We now need to start having a conversation with each other and talking. And there's something going on at the and White the House. Question, we gotta the, go. I, I, listen, let me say this. And the question is, why can't why are more conversations like this are not being featured? Well, it just started though. Like we're just we're okay. breaking we're breaking we're breaking but, ice. But here. I'm just saying, why why haven't we like, don't see this Don, nowhere else? Don, we're going back in the past again. No, because no, the no. media is trying to shut it down. No. And there's a lot of organizations that are trying to shut it down. Yeah, the odds of yeah. this video yeah. staying up is really poor. And and I'm gonna tell you this, that's, but they're gonna take both of us down. Because I'm gonna put mine up too. But but like like my stop hating each other because you disagree. I've not had one American media to interview me about this. You needed song. a cowboy I've hat. Had, you needed a cowboy I've hat. I've had plenty of foreign players if you were, come up and say, sir, explain this Dude, if you American were, media is very corrupt. Okay, but if you were in a cowboy media, hat, you would have gotten interviewed. Trust me, I know. But the American media, but now when it becomes popular, when the thing to do, <laughs> this, I'm never gonna when it's the fad, you see, they're gonna be beat me down. Oh, the guy, let's talk to the guy with the stop hating each other because see, it's not a fad right now. When it becomes a fad, watch. Oh man, I'd be a star. All right, so we're obviously gonna continue this conversation. We I gotta go find that be nosy and see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope okay. that you found this somewhat enlightening, at least thought provoking. Um, all the statements we make, we're open to learning something new, and we hope you are too. So reevaluate Jason from what the media is calling him because the stuff he's saying and what I'm sensing with my Holy Spirit is that he's not racist he's not a neo-nazi and all that stuff that's going on Don he, he now got Don, some quirks man now Don, the man got some quirks we all got yeah. quirks and Don Don might we be, all got some quirks Don might be classifying a lot of white people right now he might change yeah, his yeah, point we, of view we, on that we, we all got some and I don't know what I'm saying so that, that's my yeah, cover we all got quirks man there's so, nobody nobody's perfect around and see this is what I'm saying everybody's pretending to be perfect exactly yeah, yeah. exactly everybody's scared, everybody's scared to death man. right now to say the wrong I'm thing. not yeah, yeah. he's not and he's not but they've already they've already 
slammed me, they body slammed me and made me sound like I'm the worst person ever. Yeah, they so did. So I don't really, I mean, I, I try to learn from my mistakes, but I can't really worry Look, about I'm doing, it too and Jason, much anymore. Jason, I'm making the same mistakes because here I am with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's straight up. We have to be ourselves. People are going to spin. People are going to lie. People are going to cheat, and they're going to try to take you out because they, want, they don't want you online. You're either doing the wrong message. We are all now digital, and we are in the frontier of it. These are epic times. I guarantee you this is the great awakening. It's going to be tough under Camilla, so just maybe we'll get Jason back and know that you're loved, appreciated. And, and before, before you – hey, Jason, <laughs> man, thank you. Thank you for, for – at least giving us the opportunity. Will, yeah. Will, yeah, man, like thank you. You're not yeah. leaving us, are you? No, no, no. I'm, I mean, I got to get up. I'm, I'm, oh, no, I mean, no, I'm, no, I mean, no, no. no, no. Are you going to go and find out what's going on? Go. With that I'm, going, I'm going too. We like, we like to check <laughs> it out. Something going on. So, it, it's something going on with this helicopter, boy. So let's all say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. All right? Say so, goodbye. So, hey, hey, but we'll do hey, this. Hey, listen, America, 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 we're going to do this again. If we're the day allow us. And, and, you know, where you are, man, I challenge some of y'all to get some people with different opinions and sit down and talk. You know, if more people start posting conversations like this, then, you know, we'll be in a much better place. Yeah, because I we love really Don. Do. I've known Don for a while, and I'm, I'm impressed with Jason. So. And the fuck is yeah, always yeah. right. And I, and, I, and I didn't know. I mean, I'm sitting there going, you know, I look, you, know you look up Jason, and you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you know, I haven't had a neo-Nazi on, and he's not a neo-Nazi. Gosh darn it. No, just kidding. Don't judge a book by its cover. Stereotyping is also considered racism. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. See y'all. All right. Man, I'm going, let me go find out. I, I, need, to get, I need to get like a scooter or something. I was hoping uh, I, what I do for.